Hi, this is Lisa Somerville with Splendiverse Creations. Today I'm going to show you how to create this flipbook. When you open up the pages, you'll be able to flip open the sides so you can add your pictures or journaling. Let's get started. You'll need four pieces of cardstock or pattern paper, cut four by four, two four by four covers, ten pieces of pattern paper, three and a half by one and three quarters, four pieces of pattern paper, three and three quarters by three and a half. Three pieces of cardstock, eight by three and three quarters, score at two inches and six inches. You also need a glue stick and a bind it all or a coil machine. It start out by scoring your cardstock two inches and six inches. You'll go ahead and repeat that with the other two panels. Using the glue stick, adhere your 4x4 four four inch pieces to the front and back of the chipboard piece. You can go ahead and set those aside. Now we're going to work with your cardstock and your cut pattern paper. Adhere one of the three and three quarter by three and a half pieces. Next, we're going to move to the inside of page one. Attach the middle panel. Then go ahead and add the side pieces. For time's sake, I've already added tape to the back of my pieces. There's the inside of page one. In page one, you have that back side covered. You have the middle panel and the two ends. We're also going to flip this over and cover this one side panel. Now we can go ahead and move to the center page. You can see I've already added my pattern paper to the inside. Go ahead and fold over on your score mark. We're going to add one to the right side panel here. I always like that piece to coordinate with the page one panel. Go ahead and add the two side panel pieces. So you can see you have all three panels and the back flap. Now we're going to go ahead and finish the last panel. Again, add a pattern piece of paper in the center. You'll have one on the right panel. One on the left panel, 
Then go handles and you'll put one on each side. So on that last page you have the two inch pieces covered, the two inch pieces covered in the center, and the middle panel. Next you'll go ahead and take your bind it all, set the slot on the side to C for your covers, and go ahead and punch both covers. So you'll have two pieces just like this. Now we're going to go ahead and cut your pages. We're going to start with page one. You'll fold in one of the two inch flaps, insert into your bind it all. Make sure you're on D for your pages. Go ahead and punch your holes. Page two, again, you're going to go fold in one of the two inch flaps. Go ahead and punch your page. The same with page three, a two inch flat. Again, mine were already pre cut to save time to show you. Next, we're going to go ahead and adhere our pages. We're going to adhere page one and page two together like this. So we're here we have page one and two adhered together. We'll go ahead and flip that over. Have your adhesive on the back side of page two. Then you can go ahead and adhere that third page. So now you have all three pages attached together. You're all set to go ahead and finish binding. We're going to assemble from left to right. We're going to have our our back cover, our front cover, and our pages. Our pages are on top. Note that on top I have the two inch panels from page three. You're going to go ahead and slide in your wire rings and go ahead and crimp it shut with the bind it off. Here, here's your bound book. The inside pages, you can see how they flip open. And that last page, the back of the book. Then you can go ahead and finish the front of your book as desired.